My name is Allison Claire Lemans, and I paint vintage neon signs in watercolor, real and invented. I grew up in South Florida uh, with a real estate father, and he had formerly been an ad man in New York. Kind of instilled in me uh, a love of kitsch, Florida kitsch, Florida history, Florida kitsch, and he specialized in properties that were typically the kind of properties that were owned by a mom and pop, mom and pop businesses, and they had those hokey vintage neon signs out front. I think I broke it down into 10 easy steps. Step one, we want to draw a, your initial or symbol. You can pick a basic symbol like a heart or a question mark if you're a very philosophical type. Drawing the image on the paper, masking off the neon tubing areas, which we later come back and add a shimmering iridescent medium on. Um, we do our basic color washes. While we have the masking fluid in place, we do our color washes. We do as much as we possibly can, actually, of all the detail and whatnot. And then afterwards, we remove the masking fluid, add the iridescent medium, uh, some rust streaks, housings, um, the glass supports that would be on an actual neon sign. Let serendipity take place, let the paints spill and bleed and work with what they tend to do. Don't try to be perfectionistic about it. And if you drop your brush and leave a blob in a place where you didn't intend, so what? It's a sign. It's supposed to be out there in the elements for 70 years or more. It's so what? You know, it's, it's going to have splashes of mud and streaks of rust and, you know, a truck drove by and a log fell off and banged it or who knows what. So I just go with it. I, and I try to encourage other people to go with the flow and, and let it take on its own life to a degree.